YouTube, hello, welcome back hello. to more mods. We're doing more mods. Curb, what time is it? Um, 11.14. Yes, but what else time is it? It's it's the spin the wheel. It's time to I spin knew the that's wheel. What you, I knew that's what you wanted, so I was like, nah, it's 11.14, bitch. We can't um, do that on stream. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to do that. That's, that's a Naomi thing. No, that is the Stella thing. Oh, and we cannot do it on stream. <laughs> I know that we can't do it on stream. But you need to mark down that it was chosen because yes. next time, that's the first one we're going to do that's not on stream. Yes. It'll be noted. So, but yeah, I thought that was the Naomi thing. No, I know Naomi... that there is like Naomi mod or whatever, but no, that's just what the Naomi thing is called. Is, is Naomi, Naomi mod? mod? Yeah. Oh, see, I I thought it was uh, well, because you were like, there's one with Naomi, and then you said NTR mod, so I was like, oh, I didn't know it was a Stella thing. What did land on? A terrific night mod. out. That's what I landed on. Yeah, terrific night out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. July 2001 million 2020 BC. I don't get it. Yo, One playing? night of complete freedom from that Gorgonzola gulag and you want to spend it watching another movie? Fang got me the day off at Moe's to spend some more time with her. Hey, don't you bam out Dynamo's? The working hours are real within union regulations. How she convinced Mo, I have no idea. Don't even try. I've seen that thousand pizza stare on your face when you get home from one of your Sicilian shifts. It was when I was cleaning up after this week's fourth consecutive birthday party held at Moe's. Who knows, I probably prevented you from getting an early heart attack. Supposedly, she made him an offer he couldn't refuse. She wouldn't elaborate. Alright, you got me. Mo expects a lot from us. The lunch cart isn't going to pay for itself. If Mo didn't offer me this position, I What the to... kind of face was is that? He's a bit downtrodden. Yeah, but it's the first time we've seen it. So. Yeah. This is new mod face. If mod didn't offer me this position, I would have to run Carfith Reed. I don't see the problem. Aren't they legalizing it soon anyway? Soon to be legal isn't quite the same as legal. Furthermore, Carfano Cultivator as Reed's feed and seed doesn't exactly look great on a resume. So what? You're overworked to the point of exhaustion. All your free time is spent lazing in front of a screen. But you watch movies with me on my laptop all the time. You could have just told me you wanted to do something else. It's not that I'm not having fun. But since this is the first evening we have all to ourselves since you got that job, I just have preferred something a bit more exciting. Feng, when you suggested Oli would have been a defacement of public property. Oh, calm your tits. No! Only calm one tit. The <laughs> other tit's my party tit. It's graffiti. <laughs> You've never heard that before? No. <laughs> now I gotta find the party tit comic. Okay. It's it's so weird how you know certain things and I'm like, damn, like I'm way out of the loop. And then I know things and you have no fucking clue what the <laughs> fuck I'm talking about. It makes for a good dynamic. Yeah. It's not like it's a felony or something. It's only a misdemeanor. Mm, don't get me wrong, this is great. But sometimes I think back on Naomi trying to fix me. And this routine we're settling into it seems kind of like what she wanted from us. You making an honest living scrubbing marinara off the floor. Yeah, marinara. 
and me faithfully waiting on you to come home and hang out. The machinations of the indomitable, of the indomitable apricot still weighs on my her mind. Abominable. Even after foiling our plans and one-upping her at prom. Eh, I think you just haven't got over the double date we were on. Hey, good thing we uh, yeah. did that one first. Yeah. Hey, yeah. A cheeky mark hits its mark, as I am met with an all-too-familiar finger. Oh, fuck off. I'm not that petty. Yeah, <laughs> sure you aren't. The conversation steers to more inane topics to help numb the boredom of waiting in line. A little while later, uh, before I can fire off the punchline of a green text I read the other day, Bing's elbow informs me that it has become our turn. The compy family of four in front of us skitter away towards the auditorium. The parents look back at the staff members with a stern stare. It's an aging stout triceratops with a bulging right eye. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. Oh. Oh no. No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so no, Curb. No, not Uncle Ruckus. So, Curb, I know where this is going, and I now think you know where this is going. So, uh, um, uh, who well, wants I, to? <laughs> Do I have an Uncle Rocket voice? I, I know I don't, but like, fucking, I can wing it. Yes, yes. I, I mean, that, that's, that, that's what I'd go with. Reed. Yes. <laughs> Reed. Mm. That has to be made of glass, right? He looks at me and smiles. This place must be going through financial trouble. That's clearly a uniform fitting for humans. I hope you won't have to turn around. Why, good evening, Mr. Caveman, sir. How can I help you? Sir? Can't remember the last time a diner addressed me by sir. <sighs> it's usually skinny, spear chucker, or spurglord. Spurglord? Well, I'm not gonna complain. I, uh, ordered two tickets online. Check for the name Anon Emus. <laughs> Emus? Two tickets. Uh, two tickets. Let me just check. Hmm. Two tickets, huh? Pardon me asking, but this is a date, ain't it? The mere possibility makes me all giddy. Your <laughs> fang doesn't get ticked, it, ticked off by this guy's intr intrusiveness. I can read. I gotta do something real one second. Okay. Meanwhile, Curb sent me something. Let's. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. 1957. I had to hear Uncle Ruckus because I haven't watched okay. Boondocks in a long uh -huh. time. <laughs> Why? There ain't nothing quite as pure as young love between two humans. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. I need, oh, I need to look to see Fang's pupils okay. dilate. Um, excuse me? Do you not see the scales, feathers, and tail? Yeah, do you not see the scales, feather, and tail? This isn't cosplay. Maybe it should be. Cosplay? Oh no. My tism must be rubbing off on her. Actually, this is her right here. He's most likely just old and confused. You can almost see the cugs turn inside my head. Poor guy. Everything just stops. Wait, now he looks pissed. Sweet caveman Jesus, say it ain't so! I- is there a problem? Did my ticket reservation not go through? Oh, it's even worse. A downright atrocity! A fine caveman fella like yourself fooling around with some media dodger. Instead of inventing new technologies like the campfire, spears, and the like. Now that's just plain silly. What even is this? Are we dealing with Trish's estranged uncle? That would actually explain a lot. Meteor Dodger? Oh, choke on a cock! 
It's the year 201 M2020 BC, you bigot. Also, I don't know if you've looked in a mirror lately, but you're like 102% Triceratops with 2% margin of error. Now he just looks insulted. Now, now, miss. Insult me about reminding me of my ailment is crossing the line. Ailment? Yes, sir. Every year my smooth caveman skin seems to get more rough and more purple. And more rough and then more purple again, huh? Worst apart, lots of folks now confuse me for some kind of lettuce muncher. Uh oh. Now to mention these bonus sprouts I got filed down constantly. Holy mother of mental gymnastics. You fucking delusional. Fancy words coming from an aspiring fossil. Oh, you're pushing your lucky tubby fuck. Damn, Fang's going full on dolomite on this trick. <laughs> what? <laughs> you better not start doing karate. You better calm your ass down, Beffo, before I call security. Is a normal movie night really too much to ask for? Let's step in before this gets out of hand. You know what? Screw this guy. It's time to reveal my power level. Oh, to hell with this. My outburst silences them both. I'm not having this. Do you have the slightest, tiniest idea of the amount of pasta I've had to crank out the decades-old pasta maker that saw several weeks? I'm running out of air. Do you know the differences between spaghetti, spaghetti, capellity, longality, gnocchetti, quadrality, morality, scornetti, crozetti, or tangadelli? Well, I do, because I'd lose my job if I didn't. Or worse. Jerry saw his lump from that one time he confused legs lasagna for lasagna. And don't even get me started on Gabagool. Not Gabagool! Their shock is quickly turned to confusion. I may be getting a bit off track. Point is, I've worked hard to make this evening possible, so I don't need this. Not tonight. Mm. Yeah. Can we please just get the tickets? Here. Yeah. Now get out of here before I call the police. The police. Please, y'all are scaring the decent folk around here. Could have been worse. Fing grabs the tickets and pulls me towards the auditorium. <laughs> My favorite scene in the Boondocks actually has Uncle Ruckus. Yeah. So it's it's the one where uh Um God, I can't remember his name, the lawyer dude. Yeah. He um, gets he gets possessed by the ghost of that yeah, yeah, one dude. Yeah. And he's just like, Read! Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, No! <laughs> This shit is so I love, funny. I love when <laughs> Uncle Ruckus is going through like his backstory, and then that's like, that didn't catch y'all reading. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I have been meaning to rewatch the Boondog. The show is just so fucking good. It's so funny. <laughs> oh no, people are staring. My heart begins pounding. Knees weak, arms heavy. Please God, no oh, more spaghetti. Oh God, spaghetti, yeah. <laughs> Please God, no more spaghetti. <laughs> Thanks, Anon. I know you hated it. Becoming the center of attention like that, I mean. Me too. Ugh, don't, don't mention it. He was being an ass. I just hope I taught that geezer a lesson. Jeez, you never teach Uncle Ruckus a lesson. <laughs> I mean, now he'll probably think twice before eating Italian? Yeah, you fucking better. <laughs> <laughs> Things start smoothly oscillating between giggling and a silly impression of me speaking pasta gibberish. My grumpy facade only holds for a moment before I find myself giggling along with her. This continues all the way to the entrance of the auditorium. The PBS and attendant rips our tickets in half and points us to our seats. It's the comfy ones in the back. I carefully seat myself with our outrageously overpriced popcorn safely in my lap. The thought of dropping even one almost makes me sick. Feng drops into her seat with a light thud and kicks her boots up on the headrest of the seat in the row below us. Jeez, Anon. Should have let me smuggle in some dino nuggies. 
like you'd let me have any. And where would you even hide them? I ask instead of letting my imagination run amok. Fame thinks for a moment. My trench coat? <laughs> Do you think they're about to watch Soul Plane? I don't know. Do you actually unironically own a trench coat? Hmm. Yes. I used to have a trench coat. Why have I never seen you wear it? Uh, where would you at school? Yeah, what do you think this is? Screwing Ending up one? a concert might make you a social pariah, but at least it doesn't put you on a watch list. I wore a trench coat to school. <laughs> I can admit to being a tad edgy, but I'm not stupid. A tad? <laughs> like you weren't also doing the brooding loner shtick when you transferred here. <laughs> It's a miracle Spears didn't put both of us on surveillance when we started hanging out. A reminiscing, a reminiscing is interrupted by the lights dimming. The ceremonial pre-movie ads are about to play. Spicy trailers for cape shit and teen flicks sprinkled with a few advertisements for local businesses. What's cape shit? Superheroes. Oh, okay. One has a quaint Italian tune playing as a familiar building fades in the view. Wait a second. I work there. Hey! <laughs> Use a hungry for some fucking pie! <laughs> close up of Uncle Mo's tooth grin appears on the big screen. So close, in fact, you'd think he was screaming of. It was, it was a screaming of Jaws. Then come on down to Dino Mo's Pizza and Pasta! Let me tell you, the Mo's original meteor pizza with extra sausage, anchovies, pepperoni, and ham? Forget about it! Mo gestures with pinched claws as if he's trying to lightly grasp the words he's missing to do his pizza pie <laughs> justice. <laughs> Forget about it. Forget about it. There they are. Then lets out a roaring laugh as the camera fades to a shot of the kitchen. Cooks and food runners stay in tactical information with beaming smiles. Mo's toy claws are strangely absent from the rack. <laughs> Now we'll use it to take a good look here, punks! Cause this is where the magic happens! Jerry is shown in the process of making marinara. A voiceover by Mo explaining the process booms over the speakers. While your stages of deliberate <laughs> deliberately not shown, such their potential such that potential customers aren't traumatized. The ad ends with an idyllic scene of satisfied clientele enjoying their meals. I recognize a fair amount of high as high ranked city and police officials. How about that? Can escape work. We are almost halfway through our sodas by the time the movie begins. A small rush yeah. of anticipation. Uh, fuck. A small rush of anticipation goes through my body as the title sequence shows. It's a relief that I'm not yet too jaded to enjoy a mindless flick. Fane places her arms on my armrest. Her cool, scaly hand applies a gentle touch on my arm as she shoves down popcorn with the other. Yes? I lean back in my seat, and for the first time in a while, I relax completely. And I fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I fell asleep during um, the second Matrix movie when it was in theaters. The only movie I've ever fallen asleep in, I was like six or so, was Ants. I don't think I saw Ants in theaters. I was just so bored by it. <laughs> I ended up falling asleep. Well, I wasn't bored. We decided to watch it after uh, 15 hours of driving up to Northern California for a wedding. Oh. And we were just, like, waiting for something to do. Like, for, you know, wedding stuff to yeah. happen. And my dad was like, you wanted to go see the, the Matrix movie? And I was like, yeah. Because I was like... 10, 11. Right. You know, something around there and uh whenever that movie came out and, and everyone wanted uh, to watch the second Matrix I, I, movie. I only fell asleep towards the end so i didn't i thought i missed more than i did but i think i only missed like 15 minutes of it okay before right. i woke up and i'm like oh shit it's over <laughs> yeah so but yeah uh two hours later the end credits roll now it begins in instantaneously and completely fills the auditorium as most move for the exit. Bing rises from her seat immediately. What are you waiting for? The movie's over. Oh, these type of movies usually have post-credit scenes, comedic send-offs, teasers, and the like. 
It'll be on Snooptube later anyway, so what's the point? The people was, the point is being rewarded for your patience? Watching it online later wouldn't be the same. She is already at the exit. I scrambled to pick up all our stuff, including the empty soda cup Fang left in the, for the staff to throw out. Despite her, hard, her head start, I managed to catch up as we exit the theater. We reconvene in the lobby. Oh no. Wait up! What's the hurry? She seems kind of restless. The movie was great and all, but I'm not ready to call it a night yet. So, what do you what do you say we go for a scenic detour before then? Scenic detour? That's kind of vague. I don't know. It's pretty late already. Really? Yeah, really. I have to be ready for my next shift. Aww. Oh god. She's pleading me with those warm amber eyes. Too weak to resist. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll go. Yes! Finn grabs my arm and yanks me with unexpected strength towards the exit of the building. Shortly after, it was apparent what Feng meant by a scenic detour. Armed with a spray can, we're now running around Volcadria Bluffs for places to tag with some graffiti. A while later, we happened upon the defaced wall of an abandoned warehouse a few blocks from Little Trudon. The wall is covered with graffiti everywhere that it is within arm's reach, mostly by specious slurs and inane pop culture references. Most noticeable is some soulful fan art of Bart Simsar, <laughs> hailing from a car from Doobie. This is perfect. Now if I could only paint the wall a bit above everyone else. It's not like I have wings or anything. No, stand on me. What now? Could you give me a lift? I need to break new ground with my radical street art. Sure, I don't see a reason to object to anything at this point. Aw, that's so sweet, Anon. Don't worry, your efforts are greatly appreciated. It's not like I have wings or anything. The things I do for love. I remember some advice I got while shitposting on Obiro Mi's rocklifting forum. I squat down, hinging my hips and going slightly below parallel with zero butt wink. Fang places herself on my shoulders. I swear I hear a distant heap drev as I complete the movement and bring Fang to her canvas. I don't even lift. You might want to hold your breath for a minute. A minute? <gasps> Fumes from the spray can envelop my short me shortly after she begins her artwork. The eyes begin watering despite me squinting them shut. Fang is completely absorbed by the painting process. <laughs> Psychedelic shapes form in the darkness at the time since my last breath increases. Fuck, I'm about to pass out, aren't I? Almost there. It's at that exact moment I lose balance from dizziness. Holy shit, I'm not even using a stencil! You okay, Anon? I'm dead. You killed me. <laughs> shit, shit. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, give me a minute. I'm fine. What about you? You cushioned the worst of it, I'd say. You should have told me you were getting dizzy. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. No, wait. There's the lack of air. Oh, right. Well, worry not, your efforts weren't for nothing. What do you think? I'm not, I'm not sure shilling your old high school band is formally considered art, but that manic glare tells me I should probably be supportive. Gee, Fang, those lines sure are brash and bold. Bold and brash? Oh no, I didn't know you were a visual artist. Mmm, fucking hell and on. I asked you what you thought about it, not to drown me in saccharine compliments. I may be you, QT pie and all, but there's really no need to brown nose me. 
Like, it's just my high school band with some wings around it. Sorry, I thought... That I wanted my adoring boyfriend to shower me with praise whenever possible? I'll be fine. Hmm. He breaks the silence with a sigh. <sighs> like she ended up expressing more frustration than she intended. Bang now hands me the half-empty spray can. Your turn. I see a clean spot over there. You sure? Yeah, you're right. And the actual artwork is out of the question. Could always add another slur. I, yeah, I'm guessing it's a. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, sure. Hold it right there, you premature oil despot. You gotta be shitting me. Oh, an exception has occurred. Um. Uh. Not, not even the game could handle. Uncle Ruckus. Okay, let's quickly figure out this issue. Let's go into the folder. Now, why did that happen? It's it's nice that we get music with our exceptions. <laughs> uh, scripts, line eight. And script within move in right. Perimeter old widget. Yeah, okay, it's supposed to literally be that sprite. What? What's wrong with that sprite? It's Uncle Ruckus. It, it is Uncle Ruckus. But <laughs> <laughs> I, it's I, Uncle I do Ruckus feel in a different for outfit. Uncle Ruckus. Um, and the script with moving right. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. Um, that's just what it's saying on screen. If I hit, hold on, first off. First off, let's save right here. Advance, and if we hit ignore. Okay. If you hit ignore, it will just continue past it and load the sprite. I don't know what's weird. I don't know what, what's up with that, but whatever. Well, well, what do we have here? Not surprising the paleo hussy takes a lack in the vandalism. Fuck off already. What are you even doing here? Did management fire you for being a specious cock gobbler? They did no such thing. Securing these premises is simply one of my many part-time jobs. Sweet Raptor Jesus, I can't catch a fucking break. Well, what are you gonna do? Call actual police and cry for help? Don't make me laugh. Can't risk them going too easy on your sorry asses. Oh, Shark, shark starts spinning his nunchaku <laughs> with surprising proficiency. As well as making those barely audible mutterings. Ooh, yeah. Come, Tr trick us somehow. Don't think I can speech check us out of this one. He totally lost his marbles. Good thing living on Skin Road is preparing me for situations like these. Approaching the threat, I maintain constant eye contact with the target. Slowly, I bring my hand down to my side, ready to pull out my ace. I hope Fang will be able to look me in the eyes after this. Calm down, Hanon. You can do this. Do it for her. Pocket sand! Yeah! Yeah! My goddamn eyes! Hm. What was trick in the book? Hurry! Well, he's distracted! What? No, I meant run! <laughs> <laughs> Grabbing Fing by the hand, we rush away from the crime scene. The pained whining of the heaviest bringer of ruckus can be, <laughs> be heard echoing through the intrude on. I got him good. A tinge of remorse hits as I process what just happened. Are we in trouble? As an actual trouble? Shit, what if he's pursuing us? What if the cops are pursuing us? Sweet Raptor Jesus, we gotta get out of here. The sound of our boots hitting pavement echoes throughout the empty streets. My legs are seconds from cramping. Mounting the corner of the block, a bus stop comes into view. I hear Feng laughing between my gasps for air. 
The curses I mutter at my lack of cardio sounds more like a weak whimper as I gasp for that sweet oxygen. You, you can you can gear down, Dweeb. We lost him a while ago. Like almost immediately. I've been threatened with nunchaku before. Her laughter only intensifies. <laughs> they were made of plastic, literally toys. Also, pocket sand? That's a new one. That's not a new one! It's my last resort before the blade. You know, tonight didn't go exactly like I hoped it would. It certainly went off the rails pretty fast. Sorry about that. About what? It wasn't your fault. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun at least? That caught her off guard. I guess. I mean, of course. Nothing like being verbally assaulted by a stranger. Twice. <laughs> mm-hmm don't worry you get to decide what we do next time really yeah at this point i'm convinced my decision making skills are limited to choosing pizza toppings there's that mischievous look again hmm do you remember that shoegaze post-brazilian outsider industrial band that i've been listening to kazoo kamikaze it would be hard not to well guess what oh no they're performing in Volcadra Bluffs next week. Please don't. And guess who has tickets? It was at that moment that, I, that it all finally became too much. My remaining energy was expended in one last hurrah. Oh my god. I know, right? Okay. That is another in the books, let us.